Hey guys, so in case you haven't noticed, this is a brand new camera. And uh, this is something that I know you guys have been wanting me to do for ages. This is something that, you know, I probably should have done right from the start. But, you know, here we are, I'm doing it now. So let's look at some questions that we can answer for you guys, because it's been a while. Hmm. I like just reading through these questions and just like, I sort of pick the most interesting ones usually, but there are just some, sometimes there are some random ones, but. So Vivienne says, do you know what the meaning is of my last lucid dream? I was a hundred years old, but my face and body looked the same how they do now. Well, to be honest, that's a dream interpretation question. That That's not really my area. It's not to interpret dreams. It's more to you know teach you guys how to lucid dream, how to control your dreams and how. I'm afraid I'm gonna to have to pass on that question. So Alex says, can lucid dreaming be scary? Uh, can it be, you know, difficult to know sort of what you wanna do with it and where to go with it? You know, is it difficult to have a direction with lucid dreaming? Well, yes, it is, because when you think about it, when you lucid dream, you can do anything you want. And so the real question becomes, what do you do, right? How do you decide what to actually spend your time doing? And it can be overwhelming because there are so many things you could do uh, but the real question is, you know, how do you decide what to actually spend your time in a lucid dream doing? I think you've got to understand that there are several different things you can do with this skill. There's the first, obviously, which is the practical side of it. You can use it to improve skills. You can use it to... <coughs> use it to improve skills. You can use it to do all sorts of things like that. You know, improve confidence, heal your emotional damage, that sort of stuff. That's one of the more practical side of things, but then you've also got the more playful, fun, you know, explorative and creative aspects of it. You could use it to get inspiration for a painting or for a, a piece of art that you want to, another piece of art, maybe a song or something like that. You can use it to get inspiration for creative things. And you can also use it to get, n not answers as such, but get sort of a, a guide and a push in the right direction for things you might be struggling with. Let's say if you're trying to make a big decision uh, and you just need some sort of guidance, you can actually go straight to the lucid dream and ask the dream itself, you know, what should I do? Because you've got to remember, a lucid dream is, you know, directly talking or interacting with your subconscious mind. If you imagine that your mind is like an iceberg and at the very top, I don't know if you've seen this, there's a famous picture of an... <coughs> There's a famous picture of this giant iceberg and uh, you know it's taken like half out of the water and half in the water and you can see that if you imagine this is the water level there's sort of a tiny bit of the iceberg above which is what you see and then there's a giant massive cluster of ice underneath the water which is what you don't see um, and obviously they're part of the same iceberg but then that's sort of like your subconscious mind you have the conscious mind which is the tiny tip of the iceberg and then you have the subconscious mind, which is just a completely different thing. It's completely, you know, it controls things that you have no idea you need to control, like the homeostasis of your body temperature, everything, you know, beating your heart, keeping your blood pressure constant, organizing your thoughts, memories, creating the dream scene, um, dealing with beliefs, ego, all of this crazy complex stuff, right? That you had, no, you know, growing your fingernails, your hair, this stuff is all controlled by the subconscious mind, which is, for most of us, out of reach. So, next question. Somebody asks, what's so special about the, uh, the Lucid Dream Bootcamp course? I sent an email out recently. Well, to be honest, the really special thing about it is that it forces you to take action, which is something that most ebooks don't do. Humans are fundamentally lazy, we procrastinate, and we put things that we should do off for as much time as we possibly can. The bootcamp is designed to be an investment, you're supposed to feel like you're investing some sort of money or, you know, assets into it, um, although it's fairly cheap in my opinion. And the idea is that you invest in it, and then because it's a 30-day plan and a template, you know, it would be pretty silly to spend the money on it and then not follow the steps every day for a month. And that's why it's so effective, because it makes people think, okay, well I've just brought this thing, I should probably follow the steps. And then obviously they follow the steps for the 30 days and they have a lucid dream. That's why it's so special. By the way, guys, you know, just to reiterate, it's really important that you remember your dreams and write them down. Otherwise, there's no point to all of this because you can't really 
say you've had the experience, I mean obviously you have had the experience if you do have a lucid dream and don't remember it, but if you don't write them down then you can't look back on them later and you know think about how cool they were. Alright that's it for now guys, um, if you enjoyed this video, this style of video please let me know, hopefully you've enjoyed the new camera quality that's going to be in every video from now on and I'll see you next time. <coughs>